Okay, let's talk about coefficient of performance, which is commonly used as a performance metric to rate heat pumps and air conditioning equipment. And the coefficient of performance is the energy moved, the coefficient of performance is the amount of energy that is moved by the system divided by the energy going into the system. For example, in a house, let's say you have a house that has three lights coming into this you know, building and each light is giving off, say, one unit of energy from each light. So all of these, one plus one plus one equals three, okay? If you want to maintain the temperature in that house, you'd better be able to move three units of energy out of the building. And what's interesting about COP is it's not uncommon for a heat pump, like a window air conditioner unit, which is what I'm trying to draw right here, it's not uncommon for the window air conditioner to be plugged into the wall, and it might only take one, say, kilowatt hour to move three kilowatt hours of energy outside the building. Now that sounds pretty neat, and I get excited every time I talk about this because I'm moving three units for every one. But let's take it the other way. What we pay for is the electricity, right? And what would happen if we didn't have these three lights? Or let's say we reduce these lights or put different lights in and we didn't have the three units of energy input anymore. We wouldn't need to move three units of energy out of the building, but we would only save one unit of fuel you know, only one unit of kilowatt hours, which is what we pay for. So that's why, you go back and look at this equation, the energy input, which is often what we pay for, you know, in the wall, is always going to be equal to the energy moved divided by the COP. And it's not uncommon that COPs would have a, you know, COP of three or four. So if you saved 100,000 kilowatt hours in some energy project, you know, the air conditioning savings, for the electricity for the air conditioning, um, you would have to go by this equation. And if the COP was three, your electricity savings from air conditioning, okay, reduction, would only be about a third. Okay, so there's just one more concept I want to get across. I've talked about how the COP could be kilowatt hours over kilowatt hours, or energy moved divided by energy in. It even could be KW divided by KW in. But ultimately, it's unitless, okay? And that's awesome, it makes it easy. But when you come to the United States, uh, we often don't use COP because we use a different term that has BTUs on the numerator. And because we have BTUs, because that's how we like to express heat flows in the United States, because we have BTU over kilowatt hour, it's no longer unitless. So we use this term called energy efficiency ratio. In fact, if you know the COP, you can always find the EER because they're linearly related. So the EER, equals the COP times 3.142, which is basically just accounting for the difference between kilowatt hours and BTUs. So we have, we've talked about COP, we've talked about energy efficiency ratio. There's two more concepts I want to get across. One is called the seasonal energy efficiency ratio, which if you consider EER and COP, they're somewhat instantaneous. They are uh, some measurements that are taken. Seasonal energy efficiency ratio is looking at the EER over the summer season. So they take longer measurements. They do with this in a lab. They put the heat pump in the condition of summer, which is trying to cool. And they, the seasonal energy efficiency ratio is a good way to compare models if you need a lot of cooling. Now, if you need heating, you'd want to look at the heating seasonal performance factor. Now, the heating seasonal performance factor is over the winter season. So that's a quick explanation of these different terms. Um, you, we've got COP, we've got EER, we've talked about SEER and HSPF. You know, depending on where you live and where this heat pump is going to be, you can use these different performance metrics to figure out what's going to be best for you. Hopefully that helps you understand these concepts and we'll catch you next time.